as you guys already know that uh, i'm a full time linux user and being a full time linux user it's really you know awesome to learn and know about some really cool uh, terminal tools that helps me to you know in my daily day job or you know in anything that i work with terminal so i want to share a quick little video with you guys that this tmate tool uh, basically it's a command line tool that you can share your command line with anyone like so as a simple use case let's say you are you know you're trying to share with something or maybe you're in a you know shared project that sometimes you want to share your terminal with your coworkers or colleagues or whoever you want to but you just want to share your terminal or maybe you want to see others terminal and work on their terminal and you can also access their file system you can access all the things that they have so if you want to do something like this then teamit is a great option to do that and to demonstrate this thing i have my friend ashwandipan again with me in this video so hey shandipan hi just just one tip don't make it sound like you're going to hack into others computers and you're going to see everything that they have yeah you need exactly. permissions from them right <laughs> yes exactly because if you do that uh, the other person can also see that but uh, in a general term uh, uh, for projects like uh, shared projects or maybe you want to do something that is shared uh, with your someone that you want to do this so it's a pretty good handy tool to do that so to install this it's pretty simple again if you are using ubuntu just sudo apt install tmate it will do the job and if you are arch user like me by the way you should use arch okay i'll get into that rant some other day but for now let's keep into this video so to install in arch you can use ea ea tmate that will install that i'll just show you right here so if i do ea tmate tmate and hit enter but you'll see all these things and you just have to install this community teammate one as you can see i already have it installed and if you press one and hit enter it would install it okay to use this thing but uh before using it oh by the way here's the uh, like terminal of my friend shandipan he will actually demonstrate with me but i want to show you something else uh you can already you can see that here's the installation guide for ubuntu fedora open source FreeBSD, gen 2 arch and all the other things but you can you know see all the use cases and everything here and you can also you know register your key on this like you can also register your ssh key in your uh, section this teammate section that's that's in teammate.conf file and through that you can uh, like use your terminal with ssh and with only that ssh whoever has this like public key of your ssh those will only be able to access your terminal so that's a pretty good you know feature right so you can go through this documentation but i'll help you in that okay let's just go back to the terminal so if i hit teammate that's it you just have to hit teammate that's it and if you hit teammate you will see this kind of screen where it will say that if you wish to use teammate so this is kind of thing you will see that but what it does is like it gives you a ssh session tick okay so this ssh session is a temporary session not the one that i was talking about earlier so to connect this ssh uh, with anyone what you will have to do you'll have to copy this thing okay you can copy this thing and before that you can also share this session in a web mode you can session this as a read only that means whoever with you sharing this thing that person can only see that thing same for web session but we want to you know give the user or the like whoever we're trying to give this that person should have access to everything in our computer right so that for that we're going to copy this one and i'm going to send this to my friend shandipan so i just you know gave this ssh key to shandipan and now he will demonstrate how to actually connect with this thing and how he can actually you know work on my machine using my terminal shandipan you can right yeah. uh, thank you for giving me access to your computer and <laughs> then uh, as you can see i think uh, okay I, i'm just going to quit it and i'm going to okay <laughs> yeah. so i am actually already connected but 
I, I want to show you that uh, yeah. you are actually just doing a normal as a normal SSH command yeah. to but, a host at at teammate.io and yeah that, that's but, the only thing it's present yeah but one yeah. thing that I would like to say that yeah as you could mm -hmm. see that once he like ended the session on his computer automatically it just got you know uh exited from my machine too that means if someone is having the access and that person you know just exits from that session it will automatically close from my machine too and that's why he could not connect again you can see that the session was closed 14 seconds ago and connection to sgpt1 that teammate is closed that means uh shandipan cannot connect with my machine again that means it's a one-time session keep in mind then and it's a very good feature right so what i'll do i'll create another one and then i'll share with him again so i'll hit teammate and i'll share this with him all right so as you can see i'm connected it, it yeah. is now connected i have to just hit on q yeah. and this is the terminal of shuprio's laptop i believe right yes. so if i do a host name I, this is this is the host name of shuprio which is apacus and uh, yeah so what do you want me to do in your computer yeah uh, just before uh, we mm -hmm. continue uh, let me show to everyone that yes this is my computer and if i do host name on my machine okay you see this is abacus so this is my machine okay yeah continue so he can uh, like access my files and all that so could you please you know access like some file do i ls or something and maybe right. yeah do you want to show the files yeah, that you have yes <laughs> are you sure <laughs> yeah. all right so, so yeah hmm. as you could see that he did the ls command and it's pretty much here and if he clears the screen this will clear my yeah. terminal as well you could yeah. see that and if you type can you please type to show that like uh, it's in real time okay yeah. yeah so so i'm going to type I, i'm going to segue to my thing so if you <laughs> if you do if you do uh https yeah. why have you done this i don't know but if you do uh, this this is this is this is my domain and yeah. nobody this is the domain so please hit the domain <laughs> <laughs> all right so i think it, it yeah. demonstrates the purpose yeah. I, I i don't remember Shupri, the, like if i if i do this it's it's uh, it's doing the same thing at your computer as well right yes, it's, exactly. it's doing it live yeah and exactly. if you if you do if you do anything does it reflect on mine like yes, does it, it happen to it will do actually uh, oh. let me just you... yeah mm -hmm. sure uh if i do ls over here you could see right that, yeah that thing happened right i'll just do it again and as i do echo and do this you could see that it came over here subscribe yep mm -hmm. and it's over here so yeah that means i can also type here and that person will also type there right so yeah this is a pretty handy tool to you know just join in a shared uh, terminal session and uh, do some shared programming or stuff so yeah and also it's not like i'm the only one who can create this if shandipan was to create that and share me that ssh key to me and i could easily connect to his machine and i could easily yep. access all the files just the same way that he did with my machine okay yeah. I, I i'm curious what will happen if i do another I'm doing that now. Yeah. Oh, so if, if I do ls now, yeah. See, it 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 updates in all those terminals. So it doesn't mean that only we both need to be connected. It can also happen that we are coding as a team. So for example, the uh, like four, five, ten people are working together at the same terminal session. Yes, exactly. It's not like two people can connect, multiple people can connect, and that will help like to be in a multiple session where all the people can con come and do coding and all that stuff so yeah all right. mm -hmm. yeah so if, if i do exit from one it will exit, exit from, from one. yeah right. exactly that means if one person exits that means everyone should will have to exit so yeah you should always have some friends who will not ever never do this kind of thing while you guys are doing any serious work so yeah, yeah. and uh one more thing like uh, guys use linux if you're not using linux yeah he has he has convinced me to switch to linux and then yes. i'm using ea commands all, all the time yes yeah like and like if you guys don't know shandipan was the guy who actually was using windows 10 then i made him to switch to linux but he was not still he was still like no i'm not going to switch to arch or anything so he was sticking to ubuntu and then i let him using use ubuntu and i tried to 
manipulate him several ways but it didn't work so one day he got frustrated with ubuntu sheets and all that bloats so then he switched to arch basically and now we are in a happy situation <laughs> that's that and use linux again bye 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 and uh, subscribe do it because uh, because okay. i can see that <laughs> you don't subscribe bol 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 ata bol ata bol because if you don't subscribe linux linux will come and kill your machine bye <laughs>